YouTube channel friends today we are going to discuss the Lewis equation this equation tells us the strength of the gear tooth against bending failure or it tells us the strength of the gear tooth and how much bending stress it can withstand we all know that FT is the TT is the tangential component of the load which is obtained after resolving the resultant force which is being applied by tooth of gear B on tooth of gear B okay if this is P is the resultant force which is being applied by tooth of gear B on tooth of gear A and this resultant force P is being resolved into two components one is the component PT and another is PR where PT is the tangential component of the force and PR is the radial component of the force here PT is responsible for power transmission and PR is not responsible for power transmission so we will neglect this PR in our later discussion now friends the tooth of the gear A is taken here separately this gear A is being taken here separately and I am showing the PT is being acted upon this gear tooth of gear tooth uh, in the downward direction and I am neglecting the other force PR and taking only PT in our discussion okay friends now suppose I am taking I am considering this tooth as a cantilever beam okay suppose I am taking this tooth as a cantilever beam like this okay and this cantilever beam is acted upon by a load PT okay this tooth is being considered as a cantilever beam this is acting upon by a load of PT and this is the section XX okay friends now because section XX is the weakest section of this cantilever beam the moment at this section XX is maximum hence the bending stresses will be maximum at this section XX and it will be the critical section of the tooth that is the tooth will break from here only when the bending stresses will be high at this section so I am taking this section so the moment at XX is equal to PT into the length of the tooth if suppose H is the length of this tooth then the moment at XX is equal to PT into H now suppose the cross section of this tooth is considered to be uniform and the cross section of this tooth is having dimension B into T okay and if this is the neutral axis okay then the moment of area about neutral axis is equal to can be calculated as BT cube by 12 now if we use the strength equation and write down the strength equation as we all know that sigma y y is equal to m y i now if we apply this strength equation at this section x x then i will put the value of sigma sigma as sigma b suppose bending stress at this section x x are sigma b and y can be taken as t by 2 okay that is T divided by 2 and M is PT into H that is moment at XX because I am applying this strength equation at this section XX of this cantilever beam and I is the moment of uh, area or this neutral axis which can be taken as BT cube by 12 from here now if we solve this and simplify this we will arrive you can find this value pt is equal to how much b into sigma b into t square by 6h now suppose i am multiplying this expression by m and dividing it this expression by m what will i get i will get b into sigma b into m that is i am multiplying this expression by m and at the same time I am dividing this expression by this t square by 6h by m okay this m okay for your clarity I am writing it with the right pen 
it is m so nothing will change by multiplying this expression by m and dividing it by m then the pt can be given as this implies pt can be given as i'm writing here pt is equal to b sigma b m into y i am writing this term as y this is our y okay now this y is called as the lewis form factor and the y is equal to t square by 6 hn that is this value okay it is called as the lewis factor lewis form factor and it is very important factor for design of the gear and now uh suppose friends if this sorry friend this equation gives us relation between the pt that is the tangential component of the force and the bending stress sigma v which are induced in the tooth at this critical section so if this sigma v is suppose permissible bending stress and pt is the beam strength if this sigma v is the permissible bending stress then the pt will be the beam strength that is the maximum value of tangential load that the tooth can transmit without bending failure is called as the beam strength suppose the maximum load that this tooth can trans transmit without failure is sb okay it is the maximum load then the permissive then the stress will be permissible that is the highest stresses will be there in this tooth if the value of the pt is maximum that is the maximum load it can transmit then sb is equal to b into sigma b permissible that is the higher highest value of stress that the uh, tooth can with this with stand and m into y where y is the lewis form factor so this is the lewis equation okay friends so this was all for today's video and friend if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for the notification for the upcoming video so thank you friends for watching this video